Today, we're gonna see what Yuko Gear has to offer with their new mess kit options. Well, welcome to the outdoors and welcome to another episode here at Gideon's Tactical. That's right, folks. Gonna do some cookware, some mess kits with you today. I have two different versions of the Yuko mess kit. This is their lighter all polymer with a spork option. And then this is their, I think 75% recycled uh, bamboo and polymer uh, set up with their uh, switch spork that has a lot of cool options. So they're two different price points, they're two different materials as well as two different types of utensils. So we're gonna break it down for you. I've had a chance for about a month now to take a look at these, use them out in the outdoors, hike and camping as well as just around town around the home going to the office so i had a really good feel for what these have to offer what they can do what they can't do and whether or not this is going to be a good mess kit to carry into the backcountry or out in the outdoors or when you're just running over to the office so with that let's go ahead and break these down and see what they have to offer all right folks so here we are in the backyard i got gt jr with me so we'll see how uh, quiet he can be tommy the trail dog running around uh, so if you hear some background noise and yelling and bopping and barking, that's probably what you're going to be hearing. But uh, let's go ahead and jump right into these. So I want to hit price with you super quick because that is going to play into it as well. These do have two different price points. The 75% bamboo and made out of 90% natural materials is going to be the most expensive with the Switch Spork that it comes with at about $20. The polymer version with the smaller Spork is going to be about $15. I'll have links in the description below for you guys over to Amazon, Blade HQ, all the other places that we offer offer to you backcountry.com uh, and we really appreciate when you use those hyperlinks i went out and bought these so i could test these out for us uh, but these are also available at a lot of sporting goods sport stores including even walmart in their camping section also has i believe all these options definitely this kit and the spork and that's what's cool too is that you can just buy the spork on its own for about three dollars or the switch spork that we'll get to in a second for about five dollars great spork totally love that so uh that those are the links but you can also find them in a lot of places uh you know in that regard if you want to give them as a gift or whatever and didn't have time to wait on amazon or some of the other places that you could ship these so they both have their tethered sporks and uh, we got this kind of elastic not elastic sorry but this polymer um, tether right there that keeps your sporks on the outside uh, the sporks both of them will fit on the inside of the container that kind of keeps the lid together with the um, bottom but you can completely remove them as you see over here you can completely pull it out and just pop it off if you want to in that way so you have a bowl and then you have a lid now the bowl can hold 23 fluid ounces the lid can hold 19 fluid ounces it's the same on both of these guys that's super cool i love it the the cup of the bowl really works well um, for all sorts of different stuff and we've eaten all kinds of meals out of this oatmeal and we've had salad and i've eaten eggs and pancakes i mean you name it all that stuff We've eaten out of both of these and I've had several months with them. I've gone camping and backpack, or not backpacking, sorry, day hiking, camping, and um, around the office, all of that. So I've had a lot of experience and a lot of uh, work with them. Now, some other cool aspects that they have as well with this guy, you know, being definitely like a denser material, that material, that the bamboo and stuff, uh, but the way that they contoured the lid and the bowl, it fits perfectly with the spoon on either the spork or the switch spork. So when you go around it, there's never a gap. So you're able to get every single little morsel and it really helps with uh, cleaning as well. And so that's gonna happen with both of these. There's never a gap on either edge. So I really like that. That was just really well thought out, little details that they looked into that I, I appreciate. So that's pretty cool that they offer that. I will hit the switch spork real fast. This spork is nothing to write home about, it's just a spork. This thing, you get your designated knife that cuts rather well, you got your designated spoon, you got your designated fork, but then it will transform into a 10 inch spork that will work great for dehydrated meals. It'll get all the way to the bottom of like mountains, mountain house and those type of uh, dehydrated meal bags. And so you won't get your fingers all nasty. You can kind of cook with it if you wanted to. So it's a really cool feature that I love. I love this thing. And you can just buy these on their own for about $5 to $7 and for about $3 again for those. This guy's kind of like, eh, yeah, whatever. I mean, dime a dozen. This thing is super cool to switch spork. And that's going to come with the bamboo 75% 
uh, uh, more expensive model. Now, the thing to note with this is that this thing is super heavy at 14 and a half ounces. It is a beast. It's a heavy setup. Now it's super tough, super durable. This thing is only going to be about nine ounces. So the polymer version is much lighter and the out, out of weight, when you're thinking about backpacking or day hiking, that's the one you got to go with right out of the gate. I mean, this one's just way too heavy to carry for day hikes, in my opinion, or camping, or excuse me, or backpacking just because of the weight to what you're getting. There's not a lot else aside from the spork and the bowl and the lit and the plate, like that's it. So um, that's, that's something to consider. They, they both are heavy, this one is definitely heavier. So you got to take that into consideration. Now, the cool thing though, is that these are both are dishwasher safe. My wife loves that. So it's super easy to clean. Um, and anybody who has kids knows that like, man, stuff that you have to hand wash is a pain in the butt. But one of these is also microwavable. The polymer version is microwave safe, which is really cool. And we've done lunches i've done oatmeal with it you know preparing it that way really really cool that it is uh, microwavable the downside is that the 75 percent bamboo you know 90 percent natural is not i wish that they both were that is a drawback that they're not both that way uh, but at least with the polymer one you do have that option and i'm seeing more and more that the polymer version is the more versatile of the two kits now, one other thing I wanted to point out as well on the uh, more expensive, you know, 75% bamboo, there's no rubber gasket or anything like that on the foot of these two, the plate and the lid. Uh, you do get that on this polymer version here. You do have this like little rubberized gasket that kind of grips to the counter or to your table a little bit better, just making it um, that much better in that regard. I don't mind Tommy's trail dog pissing off some birds or something. Um, so anyway, that's just another way, you know, that it works well of just gripping, you know, the counter and the, those type of things. So it's really cool and, and great for kids, kid safe. So I love it because I can give it to my kids. They can eat out of it and then I can clean it out, pack my stuff for the, the office and head to the office. So it's kind of a dueling purpose in that regard as well. Now, the one drawback that this design has, and I think it's kind of a big drawback, is the fact that uh, it has this really nice large silicone gasket that is removable. You can pull it off to clean it out if you needed to or something. Uh, they say it's leak proof. All right, so the real question is gonna be with this bowl of soup and these gaskets, is this gonna leak or not? Let's find out. Okay, so I don't know if you guys are seeing this. So when I push down on one side, trying to seal that gasket and it still gives me a gap there. And then it gives me a bigger gap over here. So let's just find out here. Yep. Okay. So it's leaking for sure. So I would not say that these are leak proof. Um, you're gonna have to really work at it and I wouldn't risk, definitely I wouldn't risk like hiking with that in my backpack or something with this soup for sure. So I've tried this seven ways to Sunday of trying to get this thing to seat properly and not leak, but soup or like oil, you know, of like cooking oil and those type of things. If you have something that's really wet, I've done uh, water testing with them, tried to seal them seven, all kinds of different ways, really pressing hard on them, all kinds of stuff. It just drips, it leaks, it, it will not seat properly with either of these two models. And so it's not leak proof. Um, is it kind of like leak resistant maybe? Sure. Um, so like when I do a salad, I can throw balsamic vinegar salad dressing on it and put it in my lunch pail and it doesn't seem to leak. I don't have any leakage or anything like that, but I wouldn't throw it in my day pack that way and go hiking 10 miles. I'm, I would be really concerned that's gonna leak that salad dressing uh, out and onto into the bag. So, um, you know, if it's thicker material, you know, if it's like yogurt, maybe ranch salad dressing, you know, something that's a little denser, a little thicker, you'd probably be okay. Um, but yeah, soups uh, and oily or water-based stuff, it's not gonna be a good choice. You're not, it's not gonna seal properly. And that's a downer. I think with a little bit more engineering, they could have really made this awesome and made it like a Tupperware container basically. And then that would have been like epic. I would have loved that. As it stands, it's okay, but it has some drawbacks and is not leak proof from all of my testing and I've done a lot. Just to show you again that this will store in there like that. So the other thing that I wanted to touch on as well, that's a little bit of a drawback to me is that again, this spork is just kind of like dime a dozen and it comes on the polymer lighter version that would be you know best suited for hiking and backpacking. Uh, the switch is what comes on this one. Well, 
I think that that's a little bit of a drawback because if I'm going to go out backpacking or day hiking and I want to use this kit and I'm maybe going to do some dehydrated meals, I now have to spend $15 on this setup. This is not going to be the, the best utensil. Now I have to go spend another $5 to go get the switch and now I'm invested $20 into this kit. I wish that they had just given the switch on both designs, just gotten rid of this spork altogether. They didn't even need to make this one, did not, didn't even need to design it. Charge another dollar or two for this one another dollar you know and, and they could have done that and then just sell both that way so now you're either stuck getting this model and then having to swap over or just invest more money which there's no need to do that and so i feel like that's a little bit of a drawback as well i just wish both models came standard with the switch spork as it stands right now you can't do that and you got to invest another five dollars to get the full potential out of the mess kit in my opinion well folks there you have it i hope this video has been informative entertaining helped you out uh, I think this has potential, depending on what you're using it for, what you're going to do, car camping, uh, trailers, th those type of things. Uh, I think it would be great around the office, around the home, uh, those type of things. Uh, Dave hiking and backpacking, it really depends on what you're looking for in your mess kit, whether or not it really makes sense. Now, the Switch Spork is like my most recommended right now. I'm recommending to friends and family, giving away as gifts. I love that thing for all sorts of tasks and usages. Um, but uh, yeah, so there are positives to the Yuko mess kit and there's some drawbacks as you have seen in this video. Hope it's just been informative, entertaining, helped you out. So with that folks, go ahead and check us out on Instagram, Facebook, all the social media. That's another great way to see what's up and coming. Check us out uh, as well by subscribing and you can follow along with us week in, week out as we throw up videos just like this. And finally, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.